Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today I'm going to be showing you a fun new supporter card. It is Team Skull Grunt. Now, for those of you that don't know, and I don't believe this is a spoiler, in the new Pokemon Sun and Moon game, the bad guys are, wait for it, Team Skull. And we've got the Team Skull Grunt, which makes sense, of course, because when Team Flare were the bad guys, we had Team Flare Grunt. And when Team Plasma were the bad guys, we had Team Plasma Grunt. But we ain't worried about them. Actually, Team Flare Grunt's coming up later on. But until then, Team Skull Grunt. Now, what you get to do is look at your opponent's hand, find two energy cards you find there, and discard them. Now, Translation is key for this. If it is basic energy only, this card is garbage and terrible, don't play it. But I don't think it is. It seems to be energy cards. Similarly, there is a question of translation as to whether this is discard two cards you find, or you may discard two cards you find. The best translation we've got seems to be you may discard, which means you don't have to, which as we've seen will come up in a minute. So, this is okay. At first glance, this card is not terribly good. It's not garbage by any stretch. It disrupts your opponent. It stops them doing what they want to do. And it's very most basic here. It stops your opponent being able to attach energy next turn unless they top deck energy or play a supporter card like N and then draw into some energy. But, but it's not amazing. Now, in some decks, like for instance Volcanion, where baby Volcanion, hey Nick, allows you to recover the fire energy... This actually could help your opponent, because they want energy in the discard. Although, even then, you know, sometimes you need energy to attach to the active. Something like, I mean, I've played a lot of decks with Baby Aveltal, which does a similar thing. But sooner or later, you actually need an energy to attach to your active Pokemon, so that you can recover the energy from the discard. Now, the other one that springs to mind here is Lurantis, and a couple of people have mentioned... Hang on a minute, Ross... You're mentioning Lurantis in pretty much every video lately. Yes, I think it could be that good. But again, it attaches energy from the discard. In the expanded format, we've got Dark Patch. So again, these are situations where you might want energy in the discard. And here the translation is important because if it's you may discard, then obviously you don't want to do that. You want to get rid of stuff like Double Colorless for a dark deck, but you certainly don't want to put their dark in a discard, give them access to dark patch. Now, there are some situations where this card will be very, very good. Now, I'm not saying that this is an exhaustive list, these are the only situations, maybe more will come up as more cards are released. But here are four situations I can think of off the top of my head, and by the top of my head I mean, you know, sitting down and planning this video, where this card will be really good. Firstly, any deck that relies on special energy. Think in expanded Seismitoad decks that rely on double colourless energy. Or even Raichu decks that rely on double colourless energy. Giratina decks that rely on double dragon energy, etc. In any of those decks, being able to get rid of their special energy when they're in their hand could be really, really good. Now, you could combine this with something like Enhanced Hammer, discard the special energy off their active and discard it from their hand, and then just essentially sit there laughing in their face if they're and i know this isn't always going to happen but if they're holding two special energies then this is like a double enhanced hammer this could be really really good the second example of where this could be a very good card is where you combine it with hammers generally so you play a deck of a whole bunch of crushing hammers a whole bunch of enhanced hammers and maybe even use an attacker like raticate or sharpedo ex which get rid of your opponent's energy and then the basic theory here is look I'm discarding all your energy off your active, which means you are in a real hurry to be attaching from your hand every turn. So I'm going to play Team Skull Grunt here to discard it from your hand so that you don't have energy on your Pokemon and you don't have energy in your hand to attach. Number three, where your opponent is struggling with energy and then draws a prize. Now, you don't know what they've got in their hand, but it might be they attached an energy two turns ago, haven't attached one since. We're thinking they probably don't have an energy in their hand. Or oh, they've just taken a prize. Could it be an energy? Let's have a look with Team Skull Grunt. If it is, we can get rid of it. Especially 
especially if you can do this and then KO your opponent's only Pokemon with energy, you could really mess them up here. And I suppose it doesn't even really have to be where they're struggling with energy. In any situation, you can take a KO, knocking all their energy off the field and then taking the energy from their hand. This could be, as some British people might say, rather spiffing. And the last one here, and this might even be my favourite, this is a deck where I assume everyone's going to play at least one of these. Giratina. The thing about Giratina here is you are blocking their special energy. When you attack with Chaos Wheel, they can attach special energy, which means that their basic energy become very, very precious. Now, of course, you're going to be playing cards like Team Flare, Grunt, and Crushing Hammer to get rid of any basic energy they do attach, but if you can use this to get rid of energy from their hand before they attach it, this is rather nice. Now, not only that, of course, but you can be blocking their special energy. So they build up a hand with multiple special energy in. Then you play Team Skull Grunt. So if your Giratina does go down or you miss a Chaos Wheel attack, they haven't got the energy to attach. Like I've said, I'm not saying this is going to be amazing in every deck, but I think it would be silly to just go, this card's rubbish, no one's ever going to use it. It's not an every deck kind of card. It is an, ooh, that's quite tasty in this particular deck. Now, the big question here is, is it better than Team Flare Grunt? Because here's the thing. You've only got so many non-draw supporters. A lot of the time in a game, you want to be playing cards like Professor Sycamore and N to draw more cards. So... If you're playing a supporter that doesn't draw cards, there's only so many turns you can play these. There's only so many spaces in your deck that you can dedicate to these. And we've already got Hex Maniac, Pokemon Ranger, Lysander, Team Flare Grunt. So how many people are going to play these? Well, as a general rule, I would say, and feel free to disagree with me, this is what the comment section is there for. Unless it gets too horrific, that comment section is staying turned on. So you go and give your opinion, ladies and gentlemen. I want to read it. Most of the time, Team Flare Grunt is going to be better. Getting rid of an energy, attached to their active Pokemon that you know is there and you know is useful is going to be good. Team Skull Grunt, there are going to be turns where you go and use it and go, ah, this is really annoying. However, there is a card, now I did a video about this a while ago, link in the description, that we might have forgotten about here. Gumshoes GX. Now, you can't see that because it's all in Japanese, but his ability allows you to look at your opponent's hand once per turn. So, if you want to play Team Skull Grunt, you can look, use Gumshoes GX, and I argued in that video that a lot of decks should be playing a 1-1 Gumshoes GX line. I stand by that, just so we're clear. And then you only playing Team Skull Grunt where you know it's going to work. This seems to me the kind of card where you'd play it if you were also playing Team Flare Grunt. One of each using Versus Seeker to reuse whichever one is more use at that particular moment. Yes, with cards like Volcanion and Lurantis, getting rid of basic energy might not be great, but getting rid of special energy is almost always good. Yeah, I know we've got special charge nowadays, but most decks are playing one, maybe two of these, and you've got to draw into special charge to put the cards back in your deck. And then you've got to draw into the special energy. That is rarely going to happen on one turn. Okay, maybe you draw into a special charge and a shaman, but that ain't going to happen every time. This has the potential to be a very disruptive card. It strikes me as a kind of card that is better in energy denial decks. Things like Giratina, Raticate, etc. But it could have some use beyond that. Now, you know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. There is a comment section. Tell me if I'm wrong, but let's give some reasons. And of course, there's a like and subscribe button. Well, I mean, it's YouTube, you know how they work by now. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter at the Wossy. But the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, click that thumbnail. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.